Okay, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, I have the cube root of 81 minus the 3 times the cube root of 3. So what Richard's going to do when he puts that away is he's going to realize that cube root, the main important thing is you want to understand cube numbers. And hopefully you guys have recognized the reason why I've given you so many problems is not because I want to be so mean and make you spend the rest of your evenings doing math problems. But what I want you guys to notice is there's only so many problems that they can give you with cube numbers that work out. Because the cube numbers, we know that 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64. This, these should be things you guys start to realize and say, oh, wow, these numbers are keep on appearing very rapidly. And that's very important to recognize this because our identity element, which we started this chapter out with, the nth root of a to the nth power is equal to a. So if I'm dealing with an index of 3, that means I want to get my numbers or variables inside to be something to the third power. So can I rewrite 81 as a number to the third power? Yes. Uh, three to the third power, right? Or, or you could write it as 27 times 3, right? So I could write this as 27 times 3 minus 3 cube root of 3. Well, why do I want to break this up as 27 times? Oh, I'm sorry, first of all. 81 is not a cube number, right? You cannot write 81 as a number raised to the third power. Because the next one is 5 cubed, which is 125. Right? Do you guys agree that 81 is not a cube number? Yes? However, 27 divides into 81. Right? So if I just broke this up a little bit more, you don't, oh, you don't have to do this much work, but I just want to make sure everybody understands what I'm doing. Now, what's the cube root of 3 cubed? 3. Minus 3 cubed root of 3. So. Remember now, what, remember our rule, when we have the exact same index and the exact same radicand, then we can subtract the numbers in front. So basically, you can just treat this as like 3x minus 3x. So remember, when you have 3x minus 3x, you don't change the x's. You just subtract the coefficients. So what's 3 minus 3? 0. So you have 0 cube root of 3. What's 0 times cube root of 3? Done. That's your answer.